Gemini developers, this is Gemini guys show 28th tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be validating our local email like this. If you go, go to our app, then if you click M button, an event is generated and it is handled over in next page. And then if you type any email, just like at the rate, something we will call it gmail.com. Then if you press done, then this event is authenticated. If I delete this, then if I again try to validate it, then it will give me an exception. So in order to create such type of project, at first we go to file, new, and then project. And here we are selecting a cross platform as we are writing code for both Android as well as iOS. So give it a name as demo input validation and click on OK. After that, you can select any project that is portable as well as shared project. We first of all go to our project. Here we'll be specifically talking about root project, not other project that are basically targeting a specific operating system like Droid and iOS. So I'll be minimizing them. You have to understand that in Xamarin Forms cross platform, whatever your code goes to root project because it applies to all projects. Main page is an area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Here main page acts as a placeholder where we are navigating our main page placeholder to start from our new. Now let us design our main page. As you can see background image as unnamed.jpg. I'll be placing that background image inside my Android as well as iOS project of resources folder. And the navigation page has navigation as false as it does not have navigation. Now let us create a stack layout inside our content page. And let us create a button text as let's validate our email and then a clicked event as our button clicked that means when I press my button then action event gets generated and it binds event to a newly created method called button clicked now let us give background color for our button as light C green I'll select that and then I have to insert some text color as white now let us go to our code behind of main page. This is newly created method that is generated when my button is clicked. Now let us tell our button to get navigated to next page when I click that button. That is navigation dot push a sync and then to watch our new demo input validation dot views. Views is my folder inside which i am placing a content page as builder email i'll select that in order to create such folder as views we have to first of all go to our main project and then add new folder as views and inside which i'll be placing a content page by going to file new items and then select cross platform and select a content page and give a same name as validator email and click on add I'll cancel it for now then I have to type as validator email it's already there okay and then I have to close it as we are navigating our page to validator email page I'll give a parenthesis to that and then we should make it as public and then async okay that's all now let us go to our builder email design part. Here also I have used background image as onname.jpg that will be placed inside my resources folder of both Android as well as iOS project. And here I have placed navigation page as has navigation bar as false as it does not have navigation page bar. At first let us create a stack layout inside our content page giving a vertical as well as horizontal option as center. Then let us create an entry name as entry email placeholder as entry email and then I have to close that. Let us create a label name as label error text color as red. We are giving name for entry and label in order to call inside our code behind. That means when an entry is wrong then label will pop out. 
When I click my button, that event is generated and I'll be evaluating my entry with respect to string provided and label will be popped out when I click my button. Now let us go to our validation email code behind part. In order to save my time, I'll close that and then I'll drag and drop my whole bunch of code from here. This is my event that is going to be generated when I click my button. Let us create a variable name as email that will take my text entry. Let us give a variable email pattern as like this. So that we will be evaluating our email entry with respect to that. When my entry email and email pattern are not going to match or else it is going to give me white space. Then our label error will be generated as email verification field or it will not give me any output. You can play with that event also. Now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Build is getting started. Start debugging. Okay. Okay, let's validate our email. If I press anything inside my option, then if I press something dot com, then you should validate that. It shouldn't give me any output. If I remove this at sign. Then if I validate, it, then it should give me email verification field. That's my expected output. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.